My first um, issue is the noise that actually come from the college students on Monday through Thursday after midnight because it's an abundance of noise and I understand the college students and that's the price of living in the middle of their campus. But however, it causes a problem for my daughter who can't sleep at night because she hears the whole of their noise. Is it possible that the city can work with the college to actually enforce the noise ordinance? Okay, that was my first issue. My second one is um, thanks for thanks for the um, operations for Bill and honoring your word because that was that was a really good thing. However, it creates the problem of the loitering in the intermodal because, as my mother said before, I was standing next to her when the poor people were begging for money. And the funny part about it is, I had a plate of food in my hand, and they didn't ask me for money, because I wouldn't give them the food. But um, I just feel that like there should be more police presence in the inner movie just for safety purposes. And then my third issue, and this is um, because I had also sit on the um, LCTA ridership committee, and this was something that we addressed, we spoke about or was told about at our last meeting with the new traffic direction, the um, new traffic, the new traffic pattern of Scott Street. Because there is an abundance of elderly that actually live in the, um, it's like O'Connor, not O'Connor Terrace, it's, um, East End Towers. East End Towers. East End Towers and also the um, Interfaith and um, Sherman Hills, where they have to ride an additional 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, to get off the bus just to go home because the bus can only stop on one side of the street. And um, we were made aware by the LCTA that that's not their issue, that that is actually a city issue. So, Right now. Yes. Um, the issues on North Main Street with King's College. Um, we work very closely with both King's and Wilkes, and as you'd imagine, these issues pop up pretty much you know, every fall and spring semester. I personally attended a meeting this summer with some residents, some of your neighbors on North Main Street, about issues to work it out. So um, I was glad to give a call to school again to the dean, the security staff, the residents, life staff, um, and we can open up that dialogue again. If there are any specific properties that are, you know, frequent problems, you know, if you could get those to me, that would be help me, and I can approach the school. If we have a list that uh, every student was off campus, so um, if we can work backwards and there's repeat pattern offenders, King's College will deal with that through their, you know, discipline. I understand process. it. That's why I put it here. So I'll get that meeting and I'll make that contact and make it more that we're getting complaints again, and you know, we'll work to resolve that. Okay, how, how can, is it possible to get more controls in the interval? Uh, it seems that the last complaint we got before the last uh, general session, there was problems around the same time. It was between 4.30 and 5 in the afternoon. So if we can do that. Doesn't the bid have a very uh, level there? Okay. Lastly, uh, the traffic pattern, is, is, is that something we could look into? I think she's talking about Cole Street. Cole Street. Cole Street. Okay. I'll have to, I really don't know uh, what the, the uh, situation is there. I'll have to talk to our operations director. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Frank Sork.